but this is the guy. You guys like Animaniacs? Do you like Tiny Toons? Do you like Freakazoid? Road Rovers? The 7D? So many shows. This is the genius that created all those shows. His name is Tom Rover. He's downstairs with my buddy Paul Rudd, who's one of the finest writers and performers I ever had a chance to work with. But without this guy, I would be making bad pizza somewhere in North Hollywood. So let's all, you know, let's appreciate it. Well, uh, just Paul Rock and I are uh, down there. We have a booth. Uh, we're, we're food bar adjacent. So, so you can get a pizza and an autograph, dude. You can't beat that. So stop by. We're by the hive. And anyway, we'd love to see you. So I, I want to stop by and tell you, uh, at least Jess may have told the story before, but I wanted you to know about Jess's audition yeah. for Animaniacs. Now, we had been trying to get the voice for Wacko for weeks, weeks. We have people coming in and we're down to literally the last day. And every voice, every voice actor that came in said, all right, the voice of Wacko. And what would they do? They would do, Wacko, Wacko, Wacko. And this was true. Yeah, it's the name, right? right? About every, every voice uh, in town. So. They all suck, dude. <laughs> it's literally the last day we have scheduled for auditions. And the night before, I thought, how are we gonna get this voice? So I, back then, before the internet, I would buy a, a yearly world almanac, right? And, and you page through it, and there was a celebrity section. There were celebrities that had passed away, and current celebrity. So, as, and, and Gene here. Yeah, <laughs> Jess came in uh, the room and we had never met. Yeah, never. And uh, Andrea Romano, our voice director and voice cast, had we had never met the guy. We said, "Oh gosh!" And literally, he's the last scheduled audition of the day. And this is our last scheduled audition, and we were going to have to call the crazy junk voices we had <laughs> uh, and send them off to Mr. Spielberg, and hopefully, Wait, we could, who? Yeah. <laughs> so he comes in and he's doing kind of what the copy says, but then we started, said, do you do, you do audition, do you do uh, impressions? And he said, oh, yeah, I do a few impressions. And he, he gave us some, uh, you know, Christopher Walken and different things, and he went around, wow, he really does impress. So I had the almanac here. So I start paging through the names, and you know, we go back through celebrities, and I, I only get to the B's, right? And I say, and Andrea's up there and giving him, you know, having a custom. I said, Oh, the, the Beatles. And, and Andrea leans to the man, uh, Just, do, do you do any of the Beatles? And what did you say? I said, Which one do you want, man? Because <laughs> the truth is, look, I don't know if you guys have seen me do this before, but ever since I was a little kid, it was like a party trick. When you go, you know, you start with the Beatles, right? You begin with John. And John's voice to me always sounded like it's located in his nose. It's very nasal. It's like this sort of thing, give peace a chance, you know. Then we got Paul and Paul's voice. It's much more friendly, you know. And it's like around it itself. And it's a bit higher in pitch, you know, it's like that. Then there's George. And George, to me, always sounded like he had a cold and was congested. And he talked very slowly, you know. Then there's Ringo because he lives in a yellow submarine. Yeah, peace and love, peace and love. So you got all four of the Beatles, right? So <laughs> We took, I think, two or three of Jess's Beatles. I think uh, we sent. I think we sent John, uh, Paul, and, and Ringo. <laughs> and uh, Stephen had a. We had ten other voices, and, and Stephen had a choice. Well, I like three of them. I like three of all the voices. We sent ten, and it's, uh, it's, uh, and they're all just doing the Beatles. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, Paul Rugg's down there waiting for all of you to stop by uh, the food court and food. Thanks. Paul Rugg, seriously, you guys, is one of the greatest writers that I've ever had the uh, blessing to perform. And this guy, without whom I love him so much, Tom Ruger, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Tom, that is the man right there. I'm serious.